Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. 547. Tell you what, Ben, anybody outside yesterday had a treat. What a day. You can't get much better than that, Dave. Unfortunately, we're kind of going the other direction for today and tomorrow, but I'm happy to tell you by the weekend, it's looking pretty good around here. Even one day where we could flirt with the 70 degree mark. We'll talk about that in just a second, but first want to take you out to the pond outside of CVPH. You can see the ripples in the pond water there and also some of the trees starting to shake. That's a sign of what's to come up here in the North Country. We've already got the wind starting to pick up south southeast at 15 miles per hour, but pretty mild to start your day off 50 degrees right now in Plattsburgh. Similar story in Burlington and Saranac Lake, a little bit warmer up in Messina, but as you head further to the east, it is a little bit cooler this morning, generally in the 40s, the further east you go. This is Storm Tracker looking pretty busy, especially in northern New York, where we're starting to see some light rain work in. Perhaps a little bit of uh, steadier rain starting to push into Bennington and Wyndham counties. We'll keep an eye on that for you. It's all attached to this system that's really stretching across the entire east coast. You can see from Pennsylvania all the way down to Florida, providing a lot of heavy rain. Now, most of this is going to end up missing us to the south, so we're not talking a washout by any means, neither today or tomorrow. I think the better chance chance for rain will be coming tomorrow morning, but we'll keep some showers in the forecast, mainly in the early half of the day and then more clouds as we go a little bit later into the afternoon. I mentioned the wind starting to pick up. Check out Futurecast wind gusts as we head into the evening hours. We're talking wind gusts up to perhaps 40 to 45 miles per hour on the western facing slopes of the Greens and the Adirondacks, kind of getting that downsloping effect. The good news is that all of this does taper off pretty quickly as the storm system moves out on Friday, uh, during the day on Friday, I should say. So this is Futurecast. As you can see, there's just not a whole lot happening as we go through the rest of the day on Thursday. So you may find a couple showers, but I think the majority of the day will be dry. Different story as we head into the overnight, especially tomorrow morning, the further south you go. Some parts of southern Vermont, the upper valley could be dealing with some pretty steady rain to wake up on your first day of May there. But by the afternoon, it becomes more showery in nature. We may have to deal with a little band of heavier showers that'll push through the area late in the day on Friday. But the good news is that by Saturday, it does look like things start to clear out. Did mention that the heaviest rain will be falling to the south, thinking accumulation round about an inch or so. So not expecting any widespread flooding, but we'll have to keep an eye on some area rivers and streams, especially the further south you go. From 56 today to 62 tomorrow, same deal on Saturday, but it's looking a whole lot better around here. Sunday, very mild with a high of 68 degrees. I'm sure that'll feel nice, but some showers in the afternoon. That leads off into an unsettled period for Monday and Tuesday of next week.